Lord. Shalom. Shalom. I start by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to all the Akimah that preach the word as you said in the truth. You know, it's the brothers of GMS Atlanta, uh, Marcel Barzal, and um, Faratza. Yeah, and we just got a quick lesson going into uh, basically keeping money in house. You know, learn to keep money uh, circulating within the churches. You know, keeping uh, you know financial your financial state afloat. You know, it may seem like a carnal thing, but uh, you know it's, it's very very important that you uh, actually reg regulate uh, your, your finances and, and you know have certain things uh, properly managed. Because in the kingdom of heaven, you know we're gonna be uh, officers and we're gonna have high officers dealing with uh, finances on a very very large uh, level. And it really starts now with the spiritual government that we actually um, all are, are into and the spiritual part, part that we uh, path that we embarked on we have to uh, really regulate ourselves in a more uh, controlling fashion uh, you know you got some brothers that's, that's uh, very very strong lucratively you got brothers that's pretty strong but uh, weak lucratively and, and the brother that's uh, strong lucrative, lucratively that produces a lot, you know, his job is to uh, stimulate that man and, and help him out. Now, of course, you know, you don't have to give up, you know, give all your money away, of course. But your job, you know, like like the saying goes, individual speaking about, you know, not just giving fishes, teach that man how to uh, get the rod and, and catch his own fish. You see? So that's important in this truth, you know, teaching the man how to swing the rod so that he can catch his own fish. And that, that man on the receiving end, you know, who, 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 you know, is just, you know, pretty slouchy or he may not know how to produce and, and, and get the ball rolling. It's, it's his job to really figure out how to how to work certain things out to the betterment of his estate. You know, because you got brothers in certain churches that uh, may not have licenses, they may not have cars, they might be still living with their parents, a lot of things. And, and you know, you, you have men that actually make a good deal of money but due to the fact that they, they always try to buy what's hot and what's trending, they always broke. Nah. They're always in a lower state and they always need a, a need help. And, and, and of course the scriptures speak about how the, the fashion of this world faded for weight, man. So you shouldn't be trying to you know jump into the fashion world and get into the get into uh, big boy consumerism, but learning how to produce and actually uh, keeping money in house and uh, you know strengthen yourself as well as brothers around you. Yeah. So you know we're gonna go into the scriptures. Um, we will start with uh, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes ten and eighteen. By much slothfulness the building decayeth, and through idleness of the hands the house droppeth through. Right. So it says through much slothfulness the building decayeth. What what uh, what slothful? Basically not being able to uh, produce. And uh, get certain things rolling on yourself, you know. Because mm -hmm. if you're not helping yourself out, if you're not trying to build yourself up, how can uh, men around you be built up? Uh -huh. You have to say and go that you're as strong as your weakest member. Mm -hmm. So if you're very, very um, strong, then that strength will rub off on brothers. You know, you got That's certain right. brothers that have an entrepreneur uh, mindset, and through their entrepreneurship, they, they'll get brothers that's hip on game and show us the wave. Uh, of things, so that what we'll figure out how to how to um, you know sh structure things in a more uh, practical manner. That's right. Where it helps the brothers out uh, particularly, and it helps out the elders and apostles, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because the more that you produce, the the better you do. The more that you actually can send up, the, the better the apostles will be in a, a situation. You know, if, if brothers in your church is in a, in a, in a bad condition. You'll be able to what? And, you know, help out more. That's right. You know, because we all are our, our governments. And, you know, you don't want to be like the ten toes of Daniel, man. Some are strong and some are weak. We all want to be uh, strong. And, of course, brothers, some brothers, you know, they, they just jacked up. Because that just, that's just comes with the territory. Every brother's not going to be just financially strong. You know, you're going to have brothers that's feeble. But it's good to speak about him that his people will receive you. So the brother that is weak, figure out why he's weak. Like, yo, bro, what's going on with you? You need help? You know, why you ain't got this this rolling with yourself? If I could just add on to your point too. Yeah. That brother got the, that brother um, who's feeble. He got to be willing to listen and to and to um, take instructions. You know, because obviously, obviously, it's something that 
that you're not doing right because of the the position that you're in or the situation that you're in. Mm-hmm. So another brother may see it and and he's 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 trying to help you out. You yeah. know? Yeah, and the brother like you said the brother may see it and he's trying to help you out. And you know, this 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 spiritual thing that we're involved in, you know, is it's physical things that you have to do to show that you actually believe. You know, cuz you know, through the spirit, you know, a brother's got a vision, you know, to help out ourselves, help out uh, uh, the, the apostles and things of that nature. And, and that's that's how we got to rock, rock and roll, man, you know. And if a man is in that real comfortable spirit where he wants to just stay at the level that he at, hey, he, he got a lot of fire into that individual, man. And if he still ain't trying to shake and he ain't trying to move, hey, the spirit, the spirit going to end up overlapping him, man, you know. Yeah. So we all got to make sure that we staying on top of us. On top of the game, man. Damn. We all trucking and running and, and, and running collectively at a, at a good pace. You know, just like when you look at animals, man. When when herds move, they all move together. Half don't stay behind. Mm-hmm. Every when everybody's moving in one direction, the head moves. Everybody follows that follows that suit. What for survival? Yep. If not uh, those ones that 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 don't follow and leak out, man, they get they get caught. Yeah, they get caught out there. Yeah, they get caught out. Yeah. Just speak about uh, be not like a bull strain alone. Mm-hmm. And this is Ecclesiastes seven and twelve. For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that know that have it. Mm-hmm. Right. So through this truth, we have wisdom as a defense. And, you know, scriptures speak about how money is a defense. And if you have certain things structured where you have wisdom and you have money, you got a double defense. Yep. You are, you are a strong tower. Mm-hmm. Now you, you nothing could uh, practically penetrate you, so to speak. Okay. Now, this isn't a thing where we're trying to be financial um, top top CEOs and, and billionaires, multi-millionaires and things of that nature. We know at the end of the day, we're working for daily bread. But it's a way that you can actually help yourself mm-hmm. and help brothers around you. You know, and, and uh, me and the brother was discussing too, like certain brothers, they got skills. You know, if, if it's a brother in your camp that's a mechanic and he been down two, three months because he ain't got work, don't go to a mechanic, don't go to Esau when a brother right beside you got that skill. And, and that that goes back to knowing your inventory, knowing knowing your, uh, knowing the men around you. Your personnel. Knowing, that's the word, excuse me. Knowing your personnel. You know, this brother, this brother the good at this. This brother's weak. This brother might need help with this. And then you'll hear certain things from the grapevines. Hey, hey, get with that brother. You know, talk to him. Hey, bro, I got this, you know, going on. Where you can actually help yourself. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Get yourself in a, a better situation. And you can get out your people crib. You know? Because some brothers might be on the brink of homelessness. Because, you know, they're not doing well uh, financially. And sometimes it might be a legitimate reason. Sometimes it might be neglectfulness. Okay. But you got to sniff those things out. It's, it's for all of us to sniff these things out. Because the Lord said that he's going to search Jerusalem with candlesticks. So the Lord is going to put them high beams on each and every one of us and make sure that we're doing the right things. And it's talking about, and it's spiritually, you know, resourcefully. You know, you can't just be in this truth and kick a, kick knowledge. And then you're not even resourceful. God. That means you ain't even applying the wisdom that you actually spewing out. Mm-hmm. You know? So it, it starts now. And, and I'm going to end it with this scripture. Um, uh, First Timothy 6. And yep. six, but godliness with contentment is great gain, for we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. Right, mm-hmm. and, and we all understand that that in this day, the, the fashion of this world faded away, and this place is going is basically long gone. And when this place falls, the money's gonna fall with it. Everything, your car is gonna be destroyed with it. Everything around us is gonna be destroyed. But that doesn't give you an excuse to not structure and build yourself and build the men around you. Mm-hmm. When you read about the Acts of the Apostles, which for Paul is writing a letter to Timothy, he he was part of a, a government, man. And that government, they had money in circulation. They had certain men that uh, was working, certain brothers that might have been in the, the church that might have not have been a prophet, but he was a help. You know, he might not have had the gift of prophecy. He might not have had the gift of teaching, speaking of tongues, but he might have had the gift of, uh, you know, financially helping, making sure that the, uh, that the caps... The, the, the captain day was in a, was running like a well oiled machine. Mm-hmm. So it's the same thing now, yeah. you know. And it's all about always like like the brother was saying, uh, gauging your personnel. You know, seeing what brothers. All right, this brother he um uh, he's looking a little slouchy, man. We gotta this brother gotta he he gotta be more on his toes, man. He gotta be more uh, 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 a more a better producer and less of a consumer. Cause we 
and and and, and the Atlanta camp, we was we dealt with a nigga that was uh in the camp, and he was just all about consuming, man. Always about hitting the the, the midst of the city, mm -hmm. the, in the core of the city, just spending money just frivolously like a black woman, man. We ain't black women, we men. Okay. So we got to be men of understanding and know how to actually uh, regulate, delegate, and, and, and structure, manage. You know, as men, all right. That's right. And a, a manager, what? He's he's over the house. That's where you get the word economy. The word economy goes into the word okamene. Which means pertaining to the house. You need a you need a manager to structure the house. So we have to be those those managers and those structures, in, in order to have these things uh, flowing evenly, and uh, uh, properly. So it says that having food and raiment, let us be there with content, right? And that's all we want at the end of the day is just food and raiment. You know, we ain't trying to like I said, we ain't trying to get the fattest crib. Mm -hmm. We ain't trying to be on MTV cribs and uh, drive Bugattis and, and, and right. These 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 you know hundred thousand dollar cars and things of that nature Bentleys, we just trying to uh, get it so we we flowing evenly, mm -hmm. and it sometimes takes what getting on a brother man because sometimes you know certain camps just give an example not said that you know brothers heard it through the grapevines but these be situations sometimes a camp might be weak because some brothers just don't want to uh, get off their behind man just because of laziness that's why the scripture says go to the ant thou slugger. Mm -hmm. So if, 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 you know, which, you know, in the spirit, we just, you know, dialoguing and things of that nature. So if you see those situations going on and the man is just, it just being real weak and he just being real slothful, you got to whip him into shape. Okay. You know, tell him, hey, bro, you know, you got to get the ball rolling, man. What's going on, man? Why you ain't got this straight? Why you ain't got that straight? You, you know, you getting up in age and things of that nature. You know, you, you, these things got to be straightened out, man, you know. And, and, and if a brother ain't got no excuse, then it's like, man, get the ball rolling. Then you got to stay, keep the score pay on. Hey, bro, it's been three, four months, man. You know, did you get that straight? Did you get that straight? Did you get your license? You know, because sometimes brothers in camps ain't got their licenses. Sometimes, like I said, they ain't got, you know, you've been saving up to get you a, a car to, so that you could be mobile. You know, you put a lot of burden on that one brother that's dropping you off and picking you up every day Dang. from work. You know, what you been doing with your finances? Buying video games, you know? Cause sometimes men will do that, you know, buying all the latest technology and all this, 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 this funny stuff, man. Mm -hmm. You know, paying all these crazy phone bills and shit. And and at the end of the day, they ain't even, you know, got they they, they stuff together, buying oh, shoes yeah, and priorities. clothes. But yeah, and that's what it's about. It's all always about uh, getting those priorities in order. And that's the main point, you know. That's what everything drives back to. Is just get your priorities in line. Yeah. So it says, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts. Was drown men in destruction and perdition, right? So the aim is not um, going into being rich, because mm -hmm. the riches of this world is, is done anyways, man. Scripture speak about how money maketh itself uh, wings and it float, flies, float away. flies away, man. So this is just something you know, as a motivator, Lord willing, we'll do another part and just you know continue to structure certain things, probably in the spirit and, and just you know push those exhorting words for brothers to to, to um, go hard, man. Die. Go hard in everything. Just like Apostle R said, man, we got to learn how to attract money to ourselves.